Hello, welcome to the NEC3 Introduction to the Engineering and Construction Contracts e-learning module. I'm Robert Gerrard, Secretary of the NEC Users Group. The agenda for this course is split into a number of sessions. The first session you've already completed via e-learning. The second session we'll be having a look at the ECC system and contract strategy, which are the options. The third session, looking at general provisions that the delegates should understand the philosophy of NEC, which really should have been gained in the e-learning session previously. You should be able to develop skills to advise on appropriate contract strategies, when to use option A, when to use option C, etc. You should appreciate the use of contract data, works information and site information, so new terms to get your heads around in the context of putting together tender documents. Delegates should understand roles and responsibilities of key parties, and those key parties we will major on are the employer, the project manager, things like the start date, finish date, the main and secondary options, the boundaries of the site, and so on. Part 2 is completed by the contractor and includes the likes of his two feet percentages. Clause 32 deals with revising the programme. The contractor shows on each revised programme a number of things. These include the likes of the actual progress achieved on each operation and its effects upon the timing of the remaining work. The effects of implemented. What if an activity is only partially completed? Can a pro rata amount be paid? Unfortunately, no. Uh, the price work done today is the total of the price is for, and this is clause 11.227. Each group of programmes or no, I do not accept it. Four reasons are stated in clause 31.3 for the project manager to it not must accept be the can be read, copied and recorded. So ideally these are written, handwritten, typed, emailed and so on. There are some pro formas that are available and within the packs that you have there are some example forms. These forms include communications such as project manager instruction, supervisor's notification, contractor's notification and so on.